Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're joining this channel for the first time, my content comprises of mostly fragrance reviews, fashion videos, lifestyle content, and a lot more. So if that sounds like something that ticks your boxes, please do consider subscribing. I would appreciate you joining the family. Now, if you're returning, thank you so much for the support. You are appreciated. Do give me a follow on Instagram. I go by the name C Chronicles. Now I'm back with a fragrance review video for you. This is kind of like a, a an unboxing actually because um, I, I'm just gonna open this, you know, here. I always have people asking me where I buy my, per, uh, my my fragrances, okay? So if you're in South Africa, you can purchase your fragrances at Dubai Perfume Cafe. If you're in Zimbabwe, you can purchase at SA Cash and Carry. If you are in the UK, try Tawakao Cosmetics or Aroma Concepts. And, uh, you know, you can try eBay and Amazon as well. So today we're talking about the Shant, the Shant, okay? Uh, Odu Pafa, and this is by Maison Alhambra. This is obviously duping Gucci's a Shant for the Neef. So this is an obvious one. This is not one that you have to wait until the end of uh, this uh, uh, review for you to know what it's duping because they have literally copied the box they have copied how it sits they have uh, uh copied the bottle as well so this is how it sits okay it stay it's in that uh, in this in this uh pouch right and there is some writing there and i'm gonna open it for I'm you gonna spray it on the box actually because i have actually worn my fragrance for the day so this is the bottle it's a very heavy bottle actually extremely heavy bottle quite classy looking okay so we're gonna spray it here we are here to talk about maison alhambra the shant and it's obviously duping gucci's a shant for the nif now i have sprayed this and what i can tell you offset just by um just by you know the wasps that i'm already smelling here is it's a very creamy fragrance so you are to expect a very creamy frangipini here it's a very frangipini forward fragrance and it's also followed by that teary flower which also adds to the creaminess of this particular fragrance so the florals are indolic right and creamy that is what i'm trying to say but it's going to be your intense frangipini forward fragrance okay so definitely uh that and then i get a ylang ylang but the ylang ylang i get here is slightly sour only slightly sour don't quote me if you can't get the sourness i get the sourness to my nose so i get a slightly sour you know uh ylang ylang here so it is a soft intimate to me at least tropical fragrance you're gonna get the tropicalness offset uh, with little traces of coconut okay very little traces of coconut um to a point where some people might say they don't smell the coconut here but i do smell just a little bit uh coconut but i like how they did it here the fact that the coconut is not too coconut forward because coconut can be sometimes mm, you know at least to me you know like uh it's borderline you know how the coconut comes across in a uh, girl in terracotta and this i would say i actually prefer the way the coconut comes across here the coconutiness in here to me is better than the terracotta one because terracotta the coconut in there can be a little too much right now the mention of the uh of, of terracotta uh is because i do get a parallelness to terracotta in here i do get a fragrance that is almost similar or at least with the like a dna that is you know a bit similar to girl in terracotta so if you have smelled that you are not missing much um you know uh, from this uh fragrance it's, again it's to me a very intimate fragrance that stays so so close to me i sprayed this on my skin and my skin ate it up so this fragrance performs better on the clothes than it does on the skin i had to say that okay so the floral composition here again comes across as thick i guess again because of that creaminess the creaminess here is a bit on the thick side however it fails to hold its own in terms of projection because it's thick but it does stay close to the skin so it is a almost like a not really i wouldn't say 100 percent skin scent but it doesn't project much if at all what i'm saying here makes sense to you okay does have vanillic undertones dries down powdery creamy milky musky that is what i get okay so this is what to expect here girl in terracotta dna absolutely uh the difference is here being the coconut in girl Lane is a bit on the upside now would i pay uh the 370 400 for the original well obviously because i've bought the dupe um i wanted to try the dupe first uh to see if it is something that i would absolutely say uh if they nailed this one it's totally worth the price to me i would say 
I'm not very um, impressed with it. It's not that unique, okay, because um, I believe the private line, the Alchemist Garden from Gucci is supposed to be like, you know, the creme de la creme or something, but I don't get a very unique fragrance here. I get, fra I get, I get, you know, traces of something that I've smelled before. I get a little bit of, um, you know, the, the creaminess here comes across as duplicate again to Rouge Malakai. I get a, like a duplicate creaminess, the way the creaminess in Rouge Malakai feels like, feels like, you know, this one. So I don't get a very unique fragrance, at least to my nose, more so that I am getting something that is so close to terracotta than, you know, uh, something that is very unique. And I'm not um, exactly slagging this off because what's happening with the perfume industry is, most of the fragrances just seem to be inspired by each other. I mean, believe it or not. And, um, you know, this is other reason why I find that um, if you are to go for the very expensive fragrances, either get a tester first, you know, or get an affordable dupe. This was 699. I bought it in Rands, which translates to about, I think it's about 50 50 40 50 dollars somewhere there so you see if this had been if i had bought the real thing um i would be disappointed right now you know because it's not as unique as i thought it would be would it be something that is absolutely special within my collection unfortunately not you know because i've, I've been there done that worn this dna but it is something that is beautiful if you are you know it it, it, it does give you beach vibes you know tropical vibes holiday vibes suntan vibes that sort of thing you definitely get you know from this and i'm actually happy to sniff um you know this um this dupe and by all means i am not saying this is a hundred percent representative of the original i'm just saying i mean for them to have the nerve to dupe it to this extent must have some uh, some sort of similarities with the original so based on just that not that i have put my nose on the original i haven't put my nose on the original i'm just here to help you know uh those who care to know or if you just want to know is it a good enough dupe or if you were thinking of pulling the trigger and buying this whether or not it is worth it okay if you haven't put your nose on a very you know those that rouge malachi that sort of thing if you haven't put your nose on terracotta then it might wow you but for me unfortunately because i've got those two fragrances within my collection it's just gonna sit there and become one of those fragrances that i either give away or just keep maybe because of the bottle or you know because of future reviews or something like that but i'm not absolutely wowed uh, lasting power on the clothes it does do a little bit of the mileage you will get about six seven hours eight hours on the clothes shines in the sun it is very it's a bit you know it, it comes alive in the sun so it is also like a sunny fragrance something that comes alive in the sun would it hold up in winter i think it would i think it would hold up in winter just a little bit uh, because of that stuffiness that you get from the creaminess there that frangipani and the theory flower that comes across as a you know a bit stuffy there so i think it will hold up uh you know in 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 the in the winter so yeah that there you have it guys this is for this is the presentation i was talking about um Maison Alhambra the chant Maison Alhambra the chant my uh, I've got to put my 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 this uh, sideways because it's a bit too bright so that is what i had for you guys uh and this is the packaging i mean they have gone ahead and done the whole nine yards for as little as 40 dollars um for those who care for the entire packaging although i always say i don't see why they have to go this far you know i think they should just you know go go ahead and dupe what they're duping without necessarily going through all this because maybe to them it's a way of actually rubbing it in you know uh, the creators faces that uh, even the packaging shouldn't be worth that much i don't know okay so um uh, this is what i have you know it is it is the packaging is 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 exactly like how you would you know the how the original would be so that's what i had for you guys um i was talking about the chance from my the chant from maison alhambra which is obviously duping gucci uh, a shant for the neef and that those were my thoughts let me know in the comment section if you have come across this fragrance or if it's something that uh, you would consider purchasing in the future let me know in the comment section let's discuss more about this thank you so much for joining me guys uh turn on post notifications that way you will be notified anytime i upload a video c chronicles is my name and remember guys smelling good is a form of good manners cheers